Hello, this is Coach Dorf. Here we're in section 1.4 and we're looking at an example that's like a homework problem. In this one, we're supposed to sketch the graph of the function y equals three minus parentheses one fourth all to the x plus one power by hand. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we, we need to see what is the kind of foundational graph that we're gonna use and transform to get the one that we have here. So recall in this section, we're talking about exponents and what do the graphs look like? Well, uh, the graph of y equals a to the x looks like this, as long as a is greater than one. On the other hand, if If y equals a to the x and a is between 0 and 1, our graph now looks like this. It's a reflection across the y-axis. So that's our kind of our basic function that relates to this one y equals 3 minus 1 fourth uh, to the x plus 1 power. And how do I see that? Well, I see that I've got that 1 fourth to uh, x to the one x plus one power. So the x is now as an exponent here, and that's what we have in these two cases, both in the red and the green. We have a number to the um, with number, and then x is an exponent or a power on that number. And it's the same thing we have in this problem. So that's going to be our foundational one. So for us, uh, when we do y equals three minus one fourth x, uh, x plus one we see um, we have a is equal to 1 fourth. And of course, 1 fourth is between 0 and 1. So we're going to be using the graph that looks like this. This is going to be y equals um, 1 fourth to the x power. And what is this point where it intersects the y-axis? Well where it intersects the y-axis means that x is 0. And if I put x equals 0 into this function here, I get uh, y equals 1 fourth to the 0 power, okay, which is equal to 1. So that point right there is 0, 1. That's what we start off with. And now I'm now going to look at my transformation. What's the next step that I do? Well, in this problem here, we've got this x plus one power. So I need to change this x power, one fourth to the x power. I need to change that to an x plus one power. So my next graph, I'm just going to use colors this whole time. This is nice. Um, when I put a plus one there, that means I shift the graph to the left one, one place. So it's going to cross like this. This is going to be, oops, this will be y equals 1 fourth x plus 1 power. And this point that was at 0, 1 now is now at negative 1, 1, because I've shifted this point one space to the left, so the x changes to a negative one. And what about this new point here? What is this here? Well, again, it's where x equals zero. So uh, when x equals zero, then y equals one fourth to the zero plus one power, which is gonna be one fourth to the one power, which is one fourth. So we're gonna get the point zero one fourth. So this is zero one fourth right there. All right, so what's the, the next stage that I do on this problem? Uh, we've done, we've done the, let me highlight this in the color I haven't used yet, we'll do blue. We've done the one fourth, the x, we've done the x plus one. So now we need to do the minus in front of this. So we're going to have y equals minus 1 fourth x plus 1. 
So I'm going to take my graph that I have in the red, and what do I do to get it to be blue? Well, I put a negative in front of it. When I put a negative in front of everything, that's going to flip it across the x-axis. So it's going to flip across the x-axis. It looks like this. This point, now, it used to be 0, uh, 1 fourth. When I flip it across the x-axis, it's now going to be 0, negative 1 fourth. Remember, that comes from this point here. And when I flip it across the x-axis, it's now going to be, the y value is going to be negative. So it's 0, negative 1 fourth. And this point here, which earlier had been one, negative 1, 1, is now going to be negative 1, negative 1. OK, so we have that. And then the last thing we need to do, if we look back at our original function, is we have to add 3, which means that we're going to move up 3. So we're going to have now y, oops, let me change the color here, purple y equals 3 minus 1 fourth x plus 1. So I'm going to take my blue graph and move it up 3. So 1, 2, 3. OK. Um, and this then is going to be up there. And it's going to look something like this. And this point now is going to be 0. And then it's going to be 3. I'm going to add 3 to the negative 1 fourth, which is going to become 3, and that will become 11 fourths. That's what this point is right there. And you may ask yourself, what is this point here? Well, we're going to find out what that is next time when we talk about log functions. Um, it's not an easy number. What it will turn out to be, for those who maybe are familiar with logs, it's going to be log base 4 of 3 minus 1 is going to be the x value and the y value would be 0. Okay, but this is from uh, next time when we talk about logs that'll work. The last thing I want to point out is remember our original function was y equals 3 minus uh, 1 fourth to the x plus 1 power. Okay, um, the graph of this is the same as the graph of y equals 3 to the minus 4 minus x plus 1 power. And why is that? Well, remember that if I have a negative in the exponent, it's the same as 1 over the base. So here, um, I've got a 4 and a negative. So if I put that negative into the one into the fourth, that means I put 1 over the 4, and I get the 1 fourth that I had up here. All right. So these two, the graphs of these two are the same. Um, but the first one, the top one, the one we did, I think is easier to graph because the negative in front of the exponent uh, in the second one makes it a little trickier to graph. It's a little bit, can be a little bit more confusing. So if you ever have a negative like that, um, I would just switch, put it into the, into the um, base part there, like, like we have here. So instead of having 4 to the negative parentheses x plus 1, I prefer to do it as 1 fourth uh, to the x plus 1 with no negative in there. All right, good luck with the homework.